Sneakies, welcome back for some more Warframe on the PlayStation 4. Now, really quick before we get into our next mission, I'm going to go into the foundry because we have a couple of surprises here this episode. Alright, so I've been informed that I will not actually take up a Warframe slot if I just claim parts of the Warframe without actually having the entire set. So we'll be claiming the Banshee chase us right now. Excellent. Alright, we still have a little bit of ways before we can make the rest of Banshee. Still don't have the other blueprints yet. I'm not going to make this one again, of course. Alright, now, surprise number one. We now have the dual either to claim. So we will be switching out the Cronus for this badass weapon. Hopefully it's going to be really awesome. And I've also built a brand new assault rifle called the Hind. Now this one's actually... I believe it's semi-automatic, so it's going to be a little bit different than the Brayden that I currently have, but it should be a lot stronger, at least I'm hoping so. So we'll just grab that. Now, I also bought the blueprint for this, it's called a Carrick. This one's a fully automatic, so I may end up building this one, getting rid of the Brayden to clear out the slot so that I have room for it because this one's definitely a lot stronger. I obviously have plenty of supplies to make this thing. And I've also acquired all of Nyx's blueprints. I don't believe I showed this yet in the series. I don't quite have all the components to build all of them just yet. I can, however, make like the helmet. I can't make the systems or the chasis. And I'm not even going to bother starting this build yet because I'm not really that close to it. And then I also got a Orican Reactor blueprint from doing a, what was it, an alert mission. So, I am going to definitely look forward to building this eventually. I need an Orican cell, that's going to be really difficult. Those seem to be quite rare to come across. Hopefully sooner or later we'll get there. The Morphic's a little bit easier, but they're still not quite that easy. Now, I built the Rhino Chases. So we're going to claim that as well. So, we still need to build the systems and the helmet. The helmet I can actually build now. I cannot build the systems just yet. I'm not even to a planet where they have the Placids yet. And I don't think the control module is available to me either. So, we still have a ways to go for that. And we're not going to build the Seer Pistol anymore because... We actually finally got our reward for completing the Cicero Crisis earlier, which is a couple of pistols. We'll look at those in just a minute. I also got a blueprint for this Titan Extractor. Now, I guess what this does is you send it to a specific planet and it will actually extract a particular type of um, component, one of these build components like... If I put on a planet that, for example, has salvage, like Jupiter, I could put on Jupiter and it might collect salvage or it might collect one of the other components that's supposed to be there. You just go based on which ones are listed on the planet. So we'll claim this. Alright, and I also got Valkyr's systems because I came across the boss who actually has all Valkyr's blueprints. That is the one who is on Jupiter, but we are not quite there yet in our series, so that is where we are as far as blueprints in the Foundry goes right now. So we're going to go into our arsenal and we're going to equip our new weapons. So we're going to get rid of the Brayden for the Hind. Oh, and as a matter of fact, I actually maxed out all three of these here, so they're all rank 30. Pretty awesome, that's how much I've been playing this off camera. <laughs> I wanted to level up my Warframes quite a bit so that the series would be a little more entertaining because they're a lot more powerful now and they can certainly dish out the damage and they can certainly take a lot more damage as well. So we'll equip the Hind. Now look at that. That thing looks pretty awesome. Hopefully it's awesome in actual practice. Okay, now we're going to get rid of the Lado. Here we go. The Wraith Twin Vipers was my reward for completing the Cicero Crisis with 100%. If you saw the episode, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm definitely looking forward to using these bad boys. And we're going to drop this for the duel either. Alright, so we're in really good shape here. I mean, I was already in pretty good shape with my old equipment. Although I was definitely feeling like I'd, I'm well past peaking. <laughs> 
Like, I wasn't doing nearly enough damage compared to all the other people I've been playing with. So, anyways, I guess we're gonna go with Volt for this episode as well, so let's get right into it, Sneakies. Alright, so we're gonna go to Planet Venus where we left off. And the last episode that I was completing the nodes in order was Vesper, which was Loki's intro episode. So we're gonna move on to Linea, which is a rescue corpus faction, recommended for levels 3 to 5. And let's see. There is one person playing it. We're gonna play online for this episode. So here we go, sneakies. I do hope you enjoy as always. Don't forget to leave a like if you're enjoying this series. The more likes we get, the faster these videos will keep coming out. Subscribe if you're not already a sneaky to become one today so you never have to miss another video ever again. And here we go. Infiltrated. Well, I'm actually a little bit surprised that I joined this right as they were beginning the mission, so that's pretty nifty. Whoa! Alright, so we're pretty- wow. That person must be really low level to have died this early. Oh, it's a little bit awkward using this whole semi-auto thing. Alright, so I have enough time to revive this person. I should be really overpowered for all these enemies here. So I'm not really too concerned about rushing out and reviving somebody right in the middle of a battle. That is, unless of course we're right in the middle of like 50 enemies or something. That's a little bit of a different situation. And of course I'm gonna grab all these supplies if I can. Oh, hello Corpus guy. You wanna mess with my hind? Oh man, this thing is awesome. At least in terms of power it appears to be. Then again, these guys are a lot lower of a level too, so I don't really know. Oh, actually I did notice a big difference for killing that camera. It only took two presses of the trigger. Uh-oh. Don't worry man, I got you. Yeah, bring it, turn, bring it. You can't mess with the sneakies. All right, let's go, man. Let's go. Oh, man. This is going to be really unfortunate. The one good thing from this is probably going to be <laughs> that I can get a lot of revives. There's some trophies for this game that require a lot of revives. Like, one of them requires, like, 100 total revives, and that's really absurd. I haven't even gone the one for getting 10 revives yet. I feel like I've already well passed that by now. Alright, don't worry, man. I'll help you out a little bit. There you go. Are you okay now? Oh. Yeah. Alright, whatever. Let's go. Wait, where is this turret? Where is the damn turret? There it is. Die. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to enjoy this hind very much. It even appears to have more ammo than Brayden, too. So that's even better. It's more powerful and carries more ammo. The only real downfall is I tend to like to hold down the trigger when I'm playing, so I'm not really going to be able to do that, but it's alright. We will manage and adapt. I mean, really, if you can't adapt, then you're really going to have trouble in life. Alright, it appears a lot of these guys are just rushing ahead of me. So we're going to try to rush ahead as best we can. I don't want to get too far behind. Huh. Take that, lasers. I'm not exactly sure why when you just dive like this, or slide out rather, <laughs> that you can suddenly go right through lasers, but we'll just go with it. Oh, this thing is so powerful. I mean, these things are only level 4, so it's not really that big of an accomplishment. But then again, I don't think the Braden would have handled this battle too well in comparison. Can't really judge it until I get to a later planet. Oh, we gotta check out the dual either, either too. Let's see. Come on. Come on, Corpus guy! Oh. Okay, we'll just revive you first. I'd really like to try on a MOA, actually, because those things tend to be pretty difficult to take down with melee. Oh, wow. I mean, I know he had half his health, but that only took one slice. Oh, these things feel a lot different, too. Oh, this is a lot better. I could probably just rush through like one of the first missions and just keep doing this and I can take down everybody. Granted, it's not the best idea, but you could go with it, see how it works out. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. The Hind is already level one. This thing is off to a great start. I don't know what happened to all my teammates. It appears there's only one guy in here now. What is he, Loki? I think he's Loki. Looks like it's Loki's damn, like, rocket ship helmet. Don't leave there, buddy! Don't leave there! Come on, don't leave there, Moa! Don't leave there! Oh, this is not a great idea. <laughs> Not in the slightest. I think it's more in terms of being uh, like, uh, oh, okay, these people are just further ahead of us. That's all it was. Okay. I think the dual either is actually more or less something you want to use if you feel like being a lot faster with the sword as opposed to being a lot more powerful. I mean, I'm sure it's more powerful than the Cronus was anyway, but regardless. Like something that's in a similar class or whatever. Let us hack. Who's going to locate the rescue? Oh no. Who's going to locate the rescue target first? Oh, there we go. It was me. Haha. <laughs> run, prisoner, run. <laughs> Get out of here. Move it. I feel like they should call him a prisoner as opposed to a hostage. Well, that's all right. Let us go. Oh, yes. Got some hind for you guys. Man, it, that only took one trigger pull. Let's go, guys. Let's go. These things really aren't going to give me much experience at all at this point. Except for, like, my hind and my other weapons. Oh, we're already at the attraction. All right. I will take it. That was pretty damn quick, actually. Wow, the dual either is already up there. The Wraith Twin Vipers. Oh, I didn't even use those. I guess we'll have to wait for the next episode, Sikis. The only thing that barely moved was Volt Warframe because it's level 21, of course. All right, well, that was a lot of fun. So if you enjoyed this video, Sikis, don't forget to leave a like, share, and favorite so that we can grow together. I really appreciate all the support, and the more support I get, the more videos that I can put out and in shorter periods of time. Don't forget to subscribe to become a sneaky today so you never have to miss another video ever again and I will see you next time for some more Warframe.